right, so today on the 2005 F-150, we're gonna be changing both of these cow grills. As you can tell, this one's faded more than this one, but it's starting to pop up some. And as you can see right there, those clips are coming out. And you can try to put it back in and it just does the same thing. So we're gonna change both of these. So what you do on this first is you have to take off the windshield wipers. So there's a little pin on this side of the windshield wiper. You just push that up and they pop right off. They're very easy and I'll get a little closer so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. That pin right there, all it does is you take your finger and slide it up and that just loosens that so it's able to get off of that lip, lip right there. So once those are off, it's pretty easy. We'll pop the hood and take it, take the rest of this off. All right, so on each side of these, there is this pin right, this push pin right here. And you have to pop this off to loose, to get these taken off. So what we're gonna do is I have this snap on trim tool and this is going to pop these off. It sits in right in here, but I've actually, I've got a rag, so that way I don't scratch my truck all up. So, got that pinned down to where it's gonna pry against the truck. And just, and that pops right out. So once you get them popped off, you got that corner done. Um, but you've gotta pop off this weather stripping that's right here, and it just, pops right off and you got to just work it out of its groove and it comes off comes off in one piece as you can see it right there all right so once you got that weather stripping off that's right there these just kind of pop out all you do is kind of push and wiggle these until they pop out of these grooves that are down in here there's one right there there's another one here and then there's some on the back side of this so once you kind of get it popped off it's it's pretty simple but once these get popped off they're not hard to set back in So one thing I didn't say before, you have to take the driver's side cow off before you can get the passenger side off because there is a bolt right there that comes off with this. But before you get to pull in too hard, you have to watch and where your windshield washer fluid comes into right here, you have to pull it off. And the ones that I got actually came with new ones so it came with a new plug and all that but once you just once you pull that off like that um you're good with that and this one comes completely out so we've gotten this side off now we've got to get now we've got to take that bolt out up there and then that other side will come out just as easy so there's that bolt that I was talking about. So on mine, it is a seven millimeter. So it's not very tight. Just pop that off. All right, so now that that's off, just kind of set that. I'm gonna put it in my pocket. But, so on this side, it's not much different than the other side. You just kinda of push these little tabs, some of these push in. So before you take this off completely, make sure you come down here to your washer fluid line and pop it off. One way to make these easier is kinda of twist this back and forth 
this top part to kind of break the seal initially off of here so that way it's a little easier to pull off so once you twist that off it should be pretty easy to take off so once you break that you can see it's kind of barbed so it pulls off and the one that comes with it should come with a new um, tube to hook back into here All right, so now that I kind of have it off the truck, you'll be able to see a little bit better of what I was talking about. So, these clips right here, they are in a hook shape. I can turn it to the side so you can see. So you see how those, they kind of hook in. This is towards the windshield. So this, you have to kind of push it down and hook it into the clasp that's back there. And then these front ones, all they, they just set into place so you can just push them back and pop them out but these ones are kind of the harder ones to actually work out of the groove but once you get those worked out you've got everything and it should come right out so now we're going to start setting this new one in i kind of have it i just have it set in to where it's supposed to kind of set into the grooves um so we'll start setting it in completely so what you want to do is pick the front end of this up and kind of set it into the grooves and then you should hear some snaps when it starts to set in completely and just kind of go down the line make sure these back ones are set in and then snap these front ones in so once you get it set in and kind of worked in into place just kind of push the back towards the windshield and make sure these front clips set underneath that groove and then make sure your holes line up but once you have all of that set up come over here and don't forget your push pin right here and then also take your line right here and make sure it's long enough and that it'll hook into your washer fluid line so that way everything can work in your nozzles and all that work again make sure your yours come with nozzles some don't come with nozzles some do some don't come with line some don't come with these ends and some don't come with push pins so when you're buying these make sure you know what you're getting what you have just so that way you know when you get it here you can fix everything so once all of that is put into place, we um, we can go over here and put our bolt back in into that hole. And once that's in, we do the same thing on the driver's side. And once that's done, it's basically all hooked up. You will have to put the same connector that we took off. You'll have to put this onto the driver's side to connect that nozzle. And then once you have that, you pretty much have everything put back together. So as I was changing this, you can see I've got a little bit of rust and stuff starting to form. So I've kind of scuffed it up and tried to clean up the paint around it. And I've got this scratch and fix and I want to put it on there and see how much it helps or if it helps at all. So that's after the first coat. That this stuff does a pretty good job. Um, I've let it dry. So I'm gonna pop this back on again and then we'll mount it back up and we'll get it finished. All right, so we've got that one installed. Make sure you put your bolt back in. Um, make sure these all get lined up. You still have to put your push pin in, but make sure that lines up and it's the right size to kind of wick the water. That's what this end is designed for. Make sure before you mount, put that in that you put on your hose for your washer fluid before you mount this. So. Once you have this, kind of set it into place, get it maneuvered a little bit.
So once you get that one set in, kind of pushed into place and popped in, you'll just hear a couple pops and make sure that in the center up here that you, that this one is over this one. There's a couple clips in here that this sets into and on this side, make sure on those, you push those in and put it in underneath the lip that's here. So got everything hooked up, got to put in the push pins and that's about it. It's, it's really simple. Make sure over here it lines up, it does. It's really simple, it's not that hard. Only thing you really need is a seven millimeter socket and uh, all you gotta do is pop that on, make sure it's secure, make sure that one over there is secure. Put on both of your windshield wipers, put in those push pins. All you do is stick it in the hole right here and push it down and it sets right in and it'll just kind of seat this corner for you. So once you have all that done, you're done. Don't forget your weather stripping, guys. I forgot to tell you that. Make sure your wiper fluid works and there's no leakage or anything like that out of those. And once you are once you got that done, you replace them and you've got a better looking truck for it. This is a cow replacement on a 2005 Ford F-150. All right, so let's make sure our windshield wipers are working and that the washer fluid comes out evenly. It's gonna take a second. Yep, both are working. That's how you replace the cow. Don't forget, make sure your windshield wipers are on the same side that you took them off of. The weather stripping that we took off, make sure you put it back on and put them push pins back in and it's not, not that hard, it probably, took me 20 minutes with making this video so it's not too bad you just need a seven millimeter socket and a uh, little bit of time other than that just be careful when you take your tubes off make sure those aren't dry rotted um, watch those plastic clips they could be brittle and other than that it's pretty easy to pop off thanks